Hey Hans, welcome back to the channel. So, first things first, I've got a new background. Um, I don't know if it was my last video or the one before, my nude background just fell down and I was like, hey, I like this. Um, and I put like the blue pot on my Instagram and loads of you guys actually liked this as well. So this is the new setup. I'm just in my makeup room, just chilling. Um, a lot less faff actually to set up, so I'm down if you guys are down. Um, but yeah, we are going to be doing a bridal look today. So I got married back in 2018, did my own makeup, and there's a lot of things I would change in terms of tones on my eyes. Like back then was a, like the strong highlighter. That's obviously completely changed now. Trends just change all the time. So I'm just gonna do my updated how I would do my own makeup now with my fave products. And so let's do it. Skin prep is everything when it comes to having your makeup sit better, look better and last better throughout the day. So as you guys know, Vive Skin Nova is my ride or die when it comes to skin prep. It's so hydrating, it's got loads of skincare in there. It's like a makeup skincare hybrid and it just sits beautifully under makeup, gives you like a really nice glow, perfect for all skin types. So even if you are oily and you, you feel like you don't need to moisturise or go in with heavy with the skin prep, you do. So even if my clients are oily, I will go in with the same skin prep. The products will be slightly different, but I will still go in heavy with the moisturiser, heavy with the eye cream, and the way I just set the makeup and obviously different types of products will be different, but prepping your skin is one of the most important things when it comes to your makeup looking. Next up, you already know, Again, this is my last two videos. This is the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. This just helps really smooth the skin and it also adds another layer of hydration and glowiness. I'm not gonna go for a super glowy makeup look today. I'm gonna go for like a satin skin-like glow, I think, not like a super crazy glow, if that makes sense. Oh, this just honestly makes your skin feel so good. So as I said, I'm gonna go for more of like a satin complexion today. And this is the bad boy that I'm gonna be using. This is a sculpt by Amy Satin Silk Longwear Foundation. One of the nicest foundations that's ever gone on to my face. So it's so lightweight. The longevity of this is incredible. Um, great for all skin types and because it's satin it just it just looks so candle lit and beautiful on the skin um so the shade that i'm using is 3.5 n light plus the only thing i will say about these shades is that they do come off a little bit warm compared to her other complexion products that i've got so like her tint and glow one of my absolute favorite tint and moisturizers I'd say that the comparison of shades is a little bit off, but you can generally make it work with concealers or bronzers or whatever. But I think this shade is actually quite good. I've got all the shades, they kindly sent me them, and the first couple I did try were a bit orange, whereas this one isn't too bad, I don't think, so that's good. Today we are going to be using the Ashcomb with Spectrum brushes, so nice. This is the number four, it's just like a flat brush, really nice to apply your base products. Ooh, the coverage on this is amazing. I'm gonna go for a medium coverage today. So you can just see, it's not super glowy, but you've still got some radiance there and just look at the difference. I'm so red and blotchy because I've not been sleeping, my skin is paying for it right now. It just covers it, insane. Moving on to concealer, we've got the Rare Beauty one and the Shiseido, I think it's called Synchro Skin. Um, so the Rare Beauty is shade 200C and the Shiseido is 201. Love these concealers very, very much. So the Rare Beauty one is just a little bit on the yellow side, so I will apply that first just to conceal any of the crazy darkness we've got going on. And then I'll go with the Shiseido to brighten. 
I love the Shiseido because it's got like a really nice skin finish, but the coverage is amazing. I'm actually running out of this now, oh God. I'm just going in with the uh, number 11 brush. And as always, I'm gonna blend in everywhere but the under eyes for a sec. I'm just gonna let that sink in to get as much coverage as we can. I'm going in quite heavy with the concealer compared to normal because I need it. <laughs> I'm just dragging some of the concealer onto my cheeks because they're super red at the minute. So any extra coverage that they can get, we will take. Looking super crazy. So what I like to do when I feel like my under eye bags and darkness needed a little bit more TLC, I will grab that Shiseido concealer and I will place it where the hollows of my under eyes are, so where I've got most darkness, and I'll just let it sit um, for a couple minutes to get as much coverage as we can, and then I'll just blend out. But it does make a difference for sure. But I tend to use more of a matte-ish concealer for this rather than a super glowy one, because if you go for like a really glowy under eye, it can just accentuate the hollows more. So yeah. So once my foundation and concealer's on, I'll go in with a setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, brush setting spray. Love this, it leaves like a slight tack to the skin. So yeah, one of my favorites. Now we're moving on to my favorite part of my makeup routine. We are bronzing, sculpting the face. These are the Makeup by Mario. I think they're sculpting, soft sculpt shaping sticks. They're basically just a cream stick bronzer. Um, I've got shade light medium and medium dark and I've just put some on the back of my hand and then I'll just grab a fluffy brush and just work this into the places I want some definition and some warmth. These are my favourite like bronzer contour sticks. I've gone through two of every shade, I use them in my kit continuously. They just sit so nicely onto the skin. They don't disturb any makeup. They just blend out so nicely. Um, yeah, just love them so much. And I like to just pop some on the bridge of my nose and then just swipe it across under the brow and then onto my temples. I just like this because it flows better. So it flows from the bridge of your nose from your brow to your temples, which then goes on to your bronzer on your forehead. And as always, I just like to do my little sculpting trick, just whatever's left on your concealer brush, just go underneath your um, like bronzer contour, whatever, and just sharpen up any lines. This will just help really make your cheekbones look prominent, which comes off really nice in like your pictures. For powder bronzer, I'm going with the Sigma Matte Bronzer in shade Dark. These bronzers are slept on. They're so good, so pigmented, and they just sit on top of anything you put on your face so nicely. Look at that. Mm, stunning. So I'm not putting any cream blush on just because I do get very flushed throughout the day. So if I'm wearing makeup all day long, I will just apply powder blusher rather than cream. Blushers, we are going with two. So obviously I got married in May. So that's the vibe we're going for. We're going for a nice, summery, lovely, jubbly, bright, beautiful blush. So we've got Vive in the shade Cherub, which is just this really pretty pink. And then we've got this Kaleidos one. I have no idea what the shade is because I don't put them on the back, but it'll be in the comments. But this is just like a really nice um, peachy, orangey chef's kiss color. So we're just gonna mix them together. <gasps> How nice is that? How gorge. Oh yes. And then what I'll do, so I'll go back in with that bronzer brush and just go over it. So that's the face done. Um, I just gave myself another spray of the Charlotte Tilbury. And then, so it's all that's left is to set it and just to add some highlighter. 
but I'm going to do the eyes first so in case I get any fallout I can just wipe it away with concealer rather than if you set and then you do your eye makeup you're a little bit more screwed. I must say that foundation and concealer combo is looking hella good. Do you see what I mean? Like, I'm still not glowy it just looks like skin. Okay eyes. Not sure what we're gonna do okay I just know that we're using this palette. This is the um, Sigma Ambiance. It just has me written all over it. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to go with this shade called Daylily. It's just like a really nice bronzy shade. So I just like to start up here above the crease, bring it to the front of the brow and then whatever's left, just bring it towards the temples. This just helps elongate the eye. Okay, so that is like the transition shade. And then we are now gonna go in with this deeper bronzy shade here called Oasis. I'm just gonna grab a smaller fluffy brush and focus this on the outer corners and slightly into the crease. So I'm just gonna stamp it on like that. And then just slowly bring it towards the center of the lid like that there and then I'll grab that original fluffy brush with the first shade on and then just smoke it out blend it out so there's no harsh lines so this is the stage that we're at I think I'm happy with how much depth I've got there but I can always add a bit more I'm now just gonna pop some shimmer on see how that looks and then we can always make it darker but you can just see that there's more depth there now Adds a little bit more dimension to the eye. For the shimmer, I don't want anything too chunky, too glittery, too in your face. So as you'll be able to see by the state of this, this is one of my, hold on. Oh, I don't want to drop it. This is one of my favorite shimmers in my kit. This is um, from Shiseido. What's it called? Aura Dew, you can use it for face, eyes, lips, um, in the shade Solar 02. It's like a really pretty, cool tone gold. It looks stunning on the eyes. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that over the lid where I haven't put any eyeshadow. Can you see, it's just like a really nice glisten. Just try not to get any where you've placed that eyeshadow because it'll just look a bit weird. Um, if you do happen to get any there like I did just then, grab a spoolie, like a mascara spoolie, eyebrow brush, whatever, and then just push it against. And I'll just grab that original fluffy brush and just go over to make sure we've got no harsh lines or anything like that. So that's super pretty, love that. I have such veiny eyes. It looks like I haven't blended out my eyeshadow, but I just have so many veins, it annoys me. <laughs> so I feel like I just want a little sum in more. So I rummaged through my kit and I really love these pigments. These are from Peaches and Cream so stunning I think this is the shade nude is it this is the yeah this is the shade nude I can't tilt it too much can you see it's just like a really finely milled soft shimmery beautiful pigment and I think it's just gonna top it off so this is literally like a nude shade um nothing too crazy but it's just gonna add like a oh yeah it's just going to add like another little tiny bit of sheen just to make the eyes pop and it looks so pretty in pictures. Can you see? Just look at that difference. Just adds a little thumb in, thumb in, you know? And I think we're going to just going to add a little bit more of dimension. So how I love to do this is to grab a soft brown um, coal pencil. This is the Sculpted by Amy One. This is my favourite. What's it called? Eyeliner Duo. So you've got brown on one side and then you've got like a nudie colour on the other. Charlotte Tilbury do them as well um, but this is just the first one that I come to and I'm just going to smudge it 
on the outer corner on my lash line about halfway across like that. We don't have to worry about being too crazy neat but you don't want to make it too thick and then I'm just going to grab like a really small pencil brush. This is the number 29 and just smudge it out. This is just going to add a bit more depth. It's going to look really nice when you pop some lashes on and it just makes sure lash line look a little bit thicker as well. And if you've got green, blue eyes, your eyes are going to love a brown pencil. I just love brown rather than black. But it is totally personal preference. I just think, especially for a wedding, browns look so much softer, really flattering, and I think they just complement the eyes more than a black. But yeah, you just see. Mm. With that same pencil, I'm just gonna tight line up here. Again, this just adds a bit more smokiness and it will make your lash line look super duper thick. So now I'm gonna do some mascara and then I'm gonna add some lashes. The mascara that I'm gonna use is the Iconic London Elevate and Enrich Love Iconic London Mascaras. Uh, these are the lashes that I'm gonna be using. These are the Tatty lashes, the individuals. They're just little clusters and I'm just gonna pop some on the outer corners just to give me that winged effect. Favourite glue is Duo, but for individuals I like to use the dark glue because then it matches the colour of the band of the individuals. Um, and I just pop a little bit here, grab your tweezers, and the trick is just to put your mirror quite low and then look down. But you obviously need your eyes open. I've zoomed you in proper hands so you can see all the nooks and crannies. But I just wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see um, the difference. This is just mascara and this is mascara, individuals and mascara on top. I haven't curled them yet. Um, I like to let them dry first and then I'll curl them. So to make your eyes even more sultry and smoky and sexy, we're going to go in with that same brown liner that we put on the lid and we're just going to pop it on the bottom waterline but not all the way just like halfway and it just ugh. the way this makes your eyes pop even more is just chef's kiss and then for the lower lash line I'm just going to add the same colours that I added on my lid which were like the two bronzy shades I'm just going to grab that on a small pencil brush again I'm just going to keep that on the outers. Sometimes if you bring it all the way in, it can make your eyes look more rounded, whereas obviously we want to make our eyes look a bit more lifted. So we're just gonna keep it on the outer half. I'm just gonna smudge it into that waterline so it blends into that eye pencil that we just did. Like that. If you feel like you've gone in too crazy, just grab that concealer brush and just lightly um, brush any harshness away. Loving the way that looks. I'm just gonna add some lower lash mascara and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we're now on to the last little section. I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty in shade Pound Cake with my Trigwell Cosmetics Powder Puff and just tap off any excess on my hand. And then just go on the under eye. Make sure you've blended out any concealer creases before you do this because we don't want to set the creases. But I just love this powder. It doesn't make my skin go dry. It's one of the nicest smoothing powders I have ever tried. So I'm just going to basically put this in my T-zone where I get a little bit shiny and then whatever's left on the sponge I'll just go under my cheekbones. I'm not too crazy about adding loads and loads of powder just because um my skin is more on the dehydrated side so I'd rather look a little bit shiny throughout the day than too dry and cakey basically. 
And then what I'll do is I'll go in with another round of setting spray, let that dry, and then we will go in with the highlighter. Highlighter of choice is the Vive Dimension Face Palette. These are limited edition, I believe. It's only this shade that's left in stock now. And um, the lighter shade is completely gone. But yeah, I just love the highlighter in this palette. The formula is stunning. Look at that. And that was hardly anything on the brush. And then, yeah, I'll just put it anywhere. All over the face. Just basically where a light would naturally hit your face that you want it to bounce off in pictures. Cute, and then I'm just gonna add some to the inner corner of my eye and under my brow bone. So it just adds like a nice pop. Then I like to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. This is the shade one, and then just grab like a small fluffy brush. And then just go in under my eye, just where my lashes tend to touch. So they've got no transfer. And then this is just adding another layer of brightness on the under eye. Okay, you're gonna think I'm wild, I'm crazy, but I'm going in with my last round of setting spray. Okay, um, this is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I did use this on my wedding day, I remember, because um, a girl, or a lady that I should say, a lady that I worked with at the time really loved this, and she said I could borrow it for my chest, my shoulders, so it just left with a nice, like, really nice, beautiful glow. I was like, are you sure? Such babe. And I remember looking back at my pictures, I will pop it here, and there's one picture of me, because I have my dress, I had my shoulders out and my shoulders were popping like you could see your reflection in my shoulders because the glow was sensational um but yeah we're gonna use this as our last set of setting spray just look how stunning that is just gives you a really nice glow from within it's not glittery it's not shimmery just brings back some life and yeah, I just sprayed tons of it on my shoulders because I was like, when the shoulders are out, I want them to look good. And they did. They did. <laughs> Okie dokie, we are now on to lips. We're now on to the last, last bit. You're probably thinking, I know what you're gonna use, Stacey. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, this is a new lip combo that I fell in love with. So we've got Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner, Buxom, Lipstick in shade Heartthrob and V Lip Dew in Pesca. You were gonna think that I was gonna use my combo that's in my 2022 favourites and that everyone sees me in. No, 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 we're gonna use this today, okay? So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury first. I was trying to remember what I used on my wedding day and I'm pretty sure it was, I even know if I used lip liner back then, you know, um, it was the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade Stockholm, I think. Like a proper, proper nude. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to put the lip liner all over the face. <laughs> oh my God. I like to put lip liner all over the lips and then go in with a powder and just set that lip liner just to make it more matte and just to press it in and then go over again. Then we've got the Buxom. Look at that, lovely. I'm pretty sure these are plumping ones as well. So just beware that they do give you a little tingle. And then I'll go back in with the lip liner. Yeah, they are plumping. I can feel it already. Plump, plump. And then I'll go in with Lip Dew and Pesca. And I'll just keep lining my lips until I'm happy. So that's the lip combo. And then, I said this before, once all of my makeup is on, I like to just look at myself in the mirror, anything else I want to add, any more bronzer, any more blusher, which most of the time, yes, I do add more. Um, just because once your makeup's done, you can see how the whole look is looking. I'm going with my Refi, brow pencil just to 
re-enhance my freckles. Great if you've got a spot on your wedding day and you want to hide it, just do your makeup as normal and then go in with a brow pencil or like a freckle pen or something and just go over it so then it looks like a, a freckle. Okay. And then yeah, I'm just gonna go add some more blusher I think and then I'll be right back. So we are done. That is the look. This obviously isn't how I'd have my hair, but I thought I'd actually try and make an effort and mermaid wave it today. Obviously it's dropped loads now, but yeah. I'm just, um, how did I have my hair? Had it like a messy low bun, had a massive long ass fail, a hair vine and like a braid. I went extra with the hair. So yeah, that is it. That's what I would do. Look at the skin, the skin is giving. Everyone needs that foundation. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop going on now. That is it, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.